All right, we're going to um, look at the solution to uh, this is problem number 14 from the section 1.3 and 1.4 exercises. And in this problem, we're trying to find the equation of a tangent line to a graph of a function. And this is a problem that comes up a lot in, in this course, so uh, it's good to kind of go through the steps of how we would go about doing this. Um, the tangent line is the um, line that sort of hugs the curve and has the same slope as the curve at a given point. So if you remember, when we, um, uh, where's my pen? If you remember when we were uh, talking about functions and their derivatives, we made a point of making a little table where we can pick x values and then we can calculate f of x values. And finally, the new thing that we're doing is we can calculate f prime of x values. So that's value of the derivative. Um, and so for each value of x, we can calculate all three of these, well, these two things for each value of x. So in the problem, um, they're asking us to have a look where x is negative 5. Right? This is the x-coordinate. Um, and if you calculate f of negative 5, so you put negative 5 in here for x, you get 34. So all they're really doing here by telling us this point is they're telling us an x value, and they're telling us an f of x, the f of x that goes with that, but since they gave us the algebra formula, we could have figured that out if we had, um, if we'd wanted to. So what they're not telling us is the f prime of x, and so we should figure out what that is when x is negative five. So at this point, um, especially if you've worked ahead into the 1.5 problems, you know that the formula for the derivative here is just going to be uh, the, the derivative of this thing. The derivative of x squared is two times x to the first, so we just write two x and the derivative of the constant 9 is 0. So this is the formula that tells us the slopes of the curve at any given point um, or any given x value. So when x is negative 5, this will be negative 10. So if you remember in the chart we um, had on the worksheet, I made a point of saying those are x coordinates, these are y coordinates, and this value represents slope. So what we can imagine is that this graph, um, we know it's a parabola, we can see it's x squared, but uh, this graph, um, when it hits the point with x coordinate negative five and y coordinate uh, 34, the slope of the curve at that point is negative 10. So at that point, the curve will be, um, it'll look like for every one point over, for every one point over for the x, the y value is dropping by 10. So the rise over run slope, will look like negative 10. So let's look at what that, um, that graph looks like. I, uh, I, had a, I drew it on the computer so we could um, if I can pull this over where we can see it. So here's the, um, here's the graph of the parabola. So this, the blue curve here is y equals x squared plus 9, the parabola. Um, you can see that the, there's a point, the point that has x coordinate negative uh, 5 and y coordinate 34 lies on the curve, which is what we expect. That's what's going to happen every time we plug an x into the formula to get an f of x. That's going to be a point on the curve. So negative 5 is the x value. Right, so if negative 5 is the x coordinate, 34 is the y coordinate. And the last value here, this negative 10, tells us that the slope of the curve at this point is negative 10. So I've drawn this with a red line. I've just drawn a red line that follows the curve exactly in that direction right through here. And you can see that um, it has, well, you probably can't see from the picture, but the, uh, the derivative calculation tells us that the slope of this red line is negative 10. Um, and so that means I know that when I get to negative 4, it'll be at 24. So that's the point negative 4, 24. Uh, the point uh, negative 1, 14. Every time on the red line, every time the, the x value goes up by 1, the y value goes down by 10. Over 1, down 10. Over 1, down 10. So that's what the red line is doing. Um, and the red line matches the curve exactly at this point. So that's what we mean by the, the, the tangent lines, the line that matches the curve slope exactly at that point. To find the equation of the tangent line, um, the, best way to do, the best thing to use is what we call point-slope form. Because this is the form that if you know a point on your curve, I mean, sorry, a point on your line, which we do, the point negative 534 is a point on my red line. 
and I know the slope of the red line, which I do, then I can immediately write down the equation of the red line. And the point slope form looks like this. Um, it, is the, it is the letter y, the variable y, minus the, a y coordinate that you know. Well, the y coordinate that we know on the red line is 34. is equal to the slope, which we know, times the quantity x minus an x coordinate that we know. So x minus minus 5. And so I, I know that that's really x plus 5. But this is the equation of the the equation of the tangent line. This is the equation of the red line. Now the computer wants this entered as y equals something and so I have to rearrange this a little bit in order to enter it in there but on an exam where you have nothing else you have to do with the answer this is perfectly fine. But if I do want to simplify it to look like the form that I have to enter it, all I have to do is first distribute this negative 10 multiplication, so negative 10 times x, and this is plus 5 times minus 10, then I'll add 34 to both sides, and I'll have y is negative 10x minus 16. So this now is written in the form that the MyLabs Plus is expecting, and so I can just type negative 10x minus 16 into the box, and that will be the right answer.